Welcome to our Wednesday Bible Discussion, Speaking Words of Life, Forever Friends. There is a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Gonna buckle down and bow at every tongue, gonna confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. For it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow before me, and every tongue shall confess to God. Hey, beloved brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ, we are here today not only talking about the name but bragging on the name and we're here to remind you about the power in the name or to tell you about the power in the name if you did not know but we got to remember there is power in the name of Jesus and it is a weapon to the believer. So speak the name, people of God. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, invisible and visible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things consist. Colossians 1, 15 through 17. This is one of the strongest statements about the divine nature of Christ found anywhere in the Bible. Jesus is not only equal to God, but he is God as the visible image of the invisible God. He is the exact representation of God. He not only reflects God to us, but he also reveals God to us as a supreme supernatural being over all creation. God and God alone has the dominion, has been given dominion and authority, Jesus Christ. And he came from heaven, not so you, just so you know, not from the dust of the earth. He is Lord of all. All right? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Proverbs 18.10. People of God, where do you look for your security or safety? Is it in the flesh or in your finances? Your wealth, your, your wealth is in your health. If you don't have your health, you're going to spend all your money and still be sick. Money cannot provide a safety. There are too many ways to lose its power. The government might seize it back. Thieves might steal it. Inflation could rob it of its value. But the name of Jesus Christ will never lose its power. And that is always dependable, people of God. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Philippians 2, 9-11. Beloved. 
at the last judgment, even those who are condemned will recognize Jesus' authority and right to rule. People can choose now to commit their lives to Jesus as Lord or be forced to acknowledge him as Lord when he returns. I want you to remember this. If it has a name, it has a need. I heard Pars uh, a Pastor Parsley say that. So speak the name over your circumstances, over your situation. You know, if it has a name, remember that if it has a name, it has a need. Okay? So, if, for example, the sickness in your life, call its name and tell it to bow down in Jesus' name. Things going wrong in your household, call its name and tell it to bow down in Jesus' name. Your bills, problems on the job, children, spouse acting up, parents, you got to make decisions on how to take care. It's so many things, but on every circumstance and situation that comes our way, we have the authority in Jesus' name to speak his name. Not only plead the blood, but he has given us the authority to speak the name. He didn't leave it just at, uh, not, he, he didn't only just leave his body and blood for the communion as a weapon. He left us his name. The name, the signet ring that says you a child. Amen. And so, you know, if we got to speak to the weather, even death, you can make bow down in Jesus name. But we have to learn to speak the name and believe in the name and believe in the one who sent him in Jesus name we come to you today just to remind you and to encourage you people of God we love you to speak the name that's all you got to do speak the name stay back in that strong tower and relax, get you some sleep in Jesus' name. We come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we ask that you would just help us to be everything you called us to be. Now quicken and renew everything that was poured out. Hide us behind Calvary. We come against any retaliation spirits that would try to come against us or the ministry, our families, the people we pray for, and you have us uh, overseeing and protecting, Father God. We give you glory and honor for the name. We speak the name as a protection shield over them. Thank you, Lord. My God and Lord, for all the things that he has done, gave us the moon, the stars up above, and most of all, he gave us his son, his only son. Thank you, Jesus. I Thank you, Jesus, for all my sins. You paid the price. On Calvary's cross, you gave up your life to set us free so the blind could see. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our God and Lord, for you gave up. Your only son to show your love for each and every one. He shed his blood to make us one forever friends. Now, Ray, give us that uh, priestly blessing.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a blessed rest of the week. Peace to your house. Much love, Ray and Lynn, in Jesus' name. Amen.